I'm Julie Berry with the Kelseyville Food Pantry, and to start off, I would really like to, to thank Shambhala Monastery and Buddha Mayatra and his wife Tara for all of their support. Everything that I show you today, with the exception of the first table, has been graciously donated by them, and it will help feed our general population of 120 bags twice or once a month and then we do another 120. We are our giveaways on the second and fourth Tuesday, but everyone in the Lake County area knows if they call or come to our door, we haven't had to turn anyone away yet in eight years, so we're extremely grateful for all of the financial help. So if we wanna take a walk, generally speaking, when we have our food pantries, we give away, uh, we have walk our shoppers that go around with our guests we check them in and then we start. That way, if they don't want something that's on a table, they don't have to take it and they don't waste it. So we start out with the cereal and this is the only thing today that hasn't been donated by the monastery. And then we give out canned vegetables. Um, generally, it's either corn, green beans, peas, whatever. Um, when we put together our menus, we try to take a look at what would feed a family so we do rice and beans and pasta and soup or noodles or something so that they can have an idea of putting together a general nutritious meal we always give out a canned fruit so gracious enough to have the sliced pears from lake county this table will hold the soup that we're going to pair with the brown rice that was a, a donation for us um, some of the extra things that have been donated, we're going to plan for an additional 80 bags because I have 20 already done. So we have extra things that are donated for tuna. We always give out along with pizza. Um, it's uh, the pinto beans and then the whole eggs. So we're thinking that one of our giveaways, we're just going to do a breakfast giveaway. So we'll do the jam and the jellies and the eggs and the pancake um, and pancakes and syrup. We always give people a half a dozen fresh eggs, which we get graciously donated. So here's our the peanut butter and the tuna. We try to keep some sort of a protein, as much of a protein as we possibly can for people. Pinto beans, which were donated. So the next giveaway, we will give them two bags of beans. And what we always do is a um, is some sort of a recipe so that they have an idea of how to cook them or what to do with them. Otherwise, a lot of people are a little unclear on that. So we were, they don don't, you donated some clarified butter and some jam and jelly. So that'll go, that'll be a wonderful treat. And the maple syrup will save for our breakfast giveaway. And then every time we have a giveaway, we have an extra table. So if people donate some different kinds of things that don't really fit with our menu selections, we put them on a table. We do a toiletry table um, or household table if people bring their own bags. So at least we did, or we will go back to that hopefully in, in normal times. But right now we're packing all of the bags that you can see, and then we're just handing them out to people as they leave. So we don't have anyone that comes into the building and we mask and gown and just hand them all of the things. So the um, dish soap will be a wonderful addition to the extra table. And then we will, there's Quaker Oats and we also got um, 168 boxes of Quaker Oats from you that will be at the next giveaway instead of the cereal. So on Friday I have a group of people coming in and we are going to split up the brown rice so that we can serve that with the soup. So again, such, we're such heartfelt thanks for all your help. We um, hopefully can continue this ministry for as long as we necessary. Thanks.